What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to the Asian Mai Show. Uh, today is a very special segment because of the day uh, that we all remember, uh, it being 9-11. And just remembering today, it's just, it uh, affected a lot of people in yep. so many ways. You affected know. the whole world. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here. All right, well, this truck is a special edition Peterbilt uh, for 1987. And uh, we did a lot of work in New York City area. So when the towers went down and today uh, out there, uh, the south, when the South Tower went down, we lost some people in there that we worked with out in New Jersey that were in that tower. So then I decided to have this truck number 91101. So that's how we come up with the truck number of being that. So we're just honoring the people today that passed in that tragic thing and uh, of the 20 year anniversary. I'm so proud to be a truck driver and knowing that there's uh, a truck driver like yourself, Bill, that, you know, really cares about people. Well, a lot of good people lost yeah. today. A lot of good people. So, yep, so that's, uh, that's why we did that. So. And it's beautiful. Yep. Uh, standard uh, from what it came out in the factory of 1987, it's uh, nothing changed other than adding a little stainless. Otherwise, it's all, you know, factory truck. And so we have Bill here who is so kind of a human being to uh, just have two trucks dedicated to today, really. Yep, it's 9-11 stuff. We're, this truck is, we got the sign on the front for the drivers because of the fact that every one of us that are drivers and so forth, you are risking your life, you know, to be out and delivering freight and you know I agree with you 100% every day you know what I mean I agree with so you 100% wanted to, wanted to represent them and, and then it, the other theme of it also is a fallen soldier that we'll show you from the back but okay that's what this truck was about so that it's a little hot rod that we built in our shop and and just for fun <laughs> no I understand yep I understand it, it started with fun and it became something amazing it's it's got a meaning now yeah we didn't know what we were going to end up with we just started messing around and this is what we ended up with but so. it's great i mean let's let's check out this sign drivers you know thank you truck drivers for your service and risking your health to keep america moving you are essential workers i think that's you know they definitely are important to make the world move you know, and back here, I thought this was pretty special. I mean, if we could go back here, check this out, Mother Truckers. Uh, tell us about this right here and what this means. Uh, I just decided to do kind of a memorial for a fallen soldier is what this is about. And so we just uh, have the rifle and the boots and the, the bonnet for the air cleaner is, a, is our army helmet there, as you can see, and the stacks represent an organ. And so it's just uh, honoring a fallen soldier that lost his life. You know, this is... It really is all connected because I remember when seeing it on the news with 9-11 yep. and when that happened and then so many people going overseas yep. and then, yeah. yep. you know, and it's, the, you know, and not just the soldiers, the firemen, the police, you know, the EMTs and, and the truck going, drivers that yep. went out there too. Go on and on, you know, so it's just honor them all. Yep. I love it. I love it. And what are the specs on this truck? Oh, it's like a 91 Kenworth with a four and a quarter C, 13 speed, two 93s. This this truck was a mobile crane. It was huge and long, and we cut it down and lowered it down and hot routed it out. So it's just wanted to come up with something unique, and it's kind of unique, I guess. <laughs> I love it. You know, at the end of the something day, different. you know, yep. Uh, with with everything that you're doing here, I mean, you're a real special guy, Bill. I mean. From these two trucks to the memorial uh, for the transportation industry for the people in Minnesota, I mean, why do all this? Well, it's 
good way to just honor them people and remember them. Well, with the wall, we'll be able to remember these people forever. You know, and somebody will have to keep going, you know, keep this going after I go. But uh, just a good way to keep track of all them good people that we've had. That's the only reason why I do it. It's just something I can give back to the trucking industry. And like I say, you know, my family and my employees have, you know, been in this all the way. Uh, uh, my dad passed away in 2010. And I was just trying to figure out a way we could remember him and all the people that we worked with and worked for us. So I just started a little deal on the back of one truck and it got out of hand real fast. <laughs> and so I just decided, well, we have a Vietnam Memorial Wall. No reason we can't have a transportation memorial wall. That's beautiful. So this is for all people in transportation, be a dispatcher, mechanic, you know, truck drivers, whatever. And uh, we just put their names on and keep going forward. We've got over 500 names on here now. And the people send their, uh, send their information in, send a picture with it. And Dustin Snell with Sign Tech here, at West Sign Tech is one of our sponsors. He does all the printing of this. And uh, Bill Funk Trucking is us, and my family and my employees are all involved in this too, so it's a group deal. Al Koning family, uh, Al has passed away, and he's on the wall over here, but he was involved in it for all the way, and then the Big Iron Classic we're at. So that's, that's uh, basically it, it's just a way to honor people and I love it. the good people. You know, I love that there's people out here just uh, keeping memories and keeping trucking alive in this way. Yeah, in, a, know, good, in a good way. In a good, positive light. Yeah, and that's uh, what we need. Can we walk around and you take a look? Yeah, yep. let's take a look. Yep. Go ahead. This is, uh, you this know, just goes by dates and through, and this wall is kind of a special wall because Al Coning here. Let's he walk did, up close. Yeah. He did uh, an awful lot for the transportation industry, uh, not just for him but for all of us he worked for all of our benefits for the trucking industry just effortly all his life you know and he fell fell and got a aneurysm and passed away and that's what happened to him but he was when he passed away you see his picture he had so much life in him he was just such an energetic guy and just he never showed his age you know that's great and always Always dressed to the T, and his equipment was always to the T, just like that. That's great. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, he was a great man. But we got a lot of good men and women on this wall, and uh, our walls. There's 16 or 17 walls now. Yeah. And uh, over 500 people, like I say. So. No, that's beautiful. And maybe what I can do as well is I could put your links down below. And so that if there's anyone special in their life that was in the transportation business yes. that they would like honored. Yep. Yep. We try to keep it, you know, local up here because it'll get out of hand. Of course. You know? Of course. So up here. And, and then the other one that's really special on the wall is the thing we did for for miles over here in Nelson. Here a few years ago, they raised money through the truck pull. Eldon Jagger donated the money from a semi that he pulled out here. And we all collected money, and this little boy rode with me in the truck. This is that 911 truck there, and uh, and he rode along, and he passed away about six weeks after the oh, wow. he had cancer, terminal cancer. <clears throat> so that was a quite a day, I guess you'd say, you know, just to be able to do that and do something for him, you know. No. Yep. yep. No, that was a beautiful thing, though. Yep, yeah, let's so, walk down. Yep. Let's okay. take a look. Yep. Are, are there, if there's any uh, people on this wall that, uh, you know, just are dear to your heart, you know, we could Oh, Harold Johnson was right there. He was a friend of mine that rode around with me forever on, the, on other the other side, side right there. And yeah, he rode around with me a lot in the truck and and uh, helped us out. And very, very good guy there. Yep. Yep. And then they're, you know, they're just all the way down through here. Uh, it just, you can just pick one after another. That was my brother-in-law, Dave Keefe, that worked for me, and he passed away of lung cancer. And, uh, yep, and so just a lot, a lot of guys. Uh, my dad's picture's over that way somewhere, but uh, Ron Brumman, he was a good friend of mine, and another guy that was a truly good, good guy. Yep, so that's, that's kind of the deal with that. We uh, kind of do the flowers and do the flags to dress it up. And 
and that makes it look a little fancier, you know. I think it looks uh, mighty fine, sir. Yep. So it uh, all comes together. And oh, we great. got some kids on, some on here. There were some little kids that were involved in trucking businesses that, you know, passed away too. So. Well, no, I appreciate that. Bill Funk, I know that it's not about you, but I want to help you as well. Uh, there's a lot of drivers that watch the program. Yep. And for a special person like yourself, I would think that you would probably treat drivers really well. We try to, yeah. We try to keep our people and uh, treat them like they need to be treated so you keep them, you know. That's yeah. That's important to all of them. And just, you know, they're all like a family too, you know. So I'm no different than everybody, anybody else. I'm nothing special by no means. I'm just a working guy, yeah. and that's why I like it. I just, you know. I heard that. So I didn't even wear a big iron shirt today. I was going to do that and forgot it, but I just... You know, low key is fine for me. No, I hear that, but yeah. that's why I'm here, you know? So how many trucks do you have now? Oh, we've got like 15. You know, yeah. and so if any drivers out there want to work for you, how could they reach out to you? Uh, just look us up on Funk Trucking Facebook or... Let's check out the, the, let's, yep, let's check out the name. Yep. By the truckers, you know, BillFunkTrucking.com. Check this man out. All I have to say is, you know, if you're out in the Minnesota area, you're looking yep. for a job. Give us a call. Give we're you a always, call. Yep, we're always interested in talking to people and keep the good good truck drivers going. I love so that. Well, I appreciate you for your time. Thank you very much. No, I appreciate you. your time. Yes, sir.